Hello my friends. Today we're going to test this new wine filter. These pads need to be soaked for at least a minute, so I'm cutting the end open and filling the bag with water and I'll let it sit that way. Here these pads have soaked for over a minute and you can see uh, a pretty smooth side and then a real coarse side. The coarse side goes mounts towards the uh, pump. So we're going to open this up. Here's the holding plate. And these three pads. Okay side to the pump and these holes will line up with the holes in the hoses. There's a reference point on each one of these and that clip goes to the, the reference points line up with each other. Three pads go in, coarse side to the pump again. Reference point. Final pad, coarse side to the pump. Last one. This one has the raised portion. Reference point. This plate has two little holes that they go down. And snug this up. I see a gap right here. These need to be adjusted. There we go. Here we can see the transfer of the fluids, the wine. The pump is operating at about 12 to 13 pounds of pressure, and it's the new uh, filters. This bottle's stained, you can't see the level, but it's right here. That's it, it's sucking air. Okay, now before the wine gets bottled, that has to set for at least a day. Here's the two carboys. Here's the full one we're transferring from. I have a spacer, a block underneath, tilting it over, have the hose down near the bottom. And here's the outflow. Let's turn the pump on. It's self-priming. Okay, that foam was from the other cardboard that was pumped. That was the wine just uh, mixing with air as it's going through the system. Pump is operating at about 15 PSI. And you can see here's the level. You can't see because this uh, Cabernet Sauvignon is so dark, it's stained the solid stain the inside of the carboy. Here you can see the pressure, not quite 15 pounds. And when these are put in, you have to make sure that these reference points are lined up with the filters. They're already pretty wet, soaked at least a minute, and the 
coarse side of the, each pad is facing the pump. And you have to make sure that all these plates are in line so that it makes a tight seal. Our level right here. And I like to keep this uh, not deep. I, I want when it gets empty, I don't want this to be blowing air into the wine. So when this is emptying, I'm going to pull this out and let it push the whatever wine is in that hose, push it off and it'll be foaming with it. Okay, we're about a quarter left. Can't see into the wine, it's really dark. Don't like to drip in my we have to leave this set at least a day before it gets bottled. So we're going to put the fermentation locks back on them. Got a few more to do. I have the hose into the solution or into the wine at the bottom so it is uh, mixing minimum air, trying to anyway, and coming out of this carboy here. Here's the filters. It was running over 20 pounds. Here's the one that's closest to the pump. Or I was in reverse there. This one's closest to the pump. Okay, cleaning time. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.